All right, y'all, we got an interesting title here, as y'all see. It's titled, This Documentary Proves That Michael Jackson Is Still Alive. I got to check this uh, video out. I got to check out this video with y'all, man. It's 15 minutes long. Let's get right into it. Um, I believe this is a fairly new channel. It's titled Believe. So, yeah, shout out to them. I think I might enjoy this. Let's see if we enjoy this. Let's see what they talking about. How is they going to prove that Michael Jackson is still alive? Let's get to it. Even though Michael Jackson was officially declared dead in 2009, many questions remained unanswered. Because these questions were not resolved, his fans began to believe that he was still alive. Fans who believe he is dead cannot answer these questions. <laughs> I like the love, you feel me? Mystery they got to it. In January 2009, news sites reported a claim from a family friend of Michael Jackson. According to the claim, Michael had only six months to live. And indeed, exactly six months later, Michael's death occurred. Why did a family oh, wow. friend say Michael had only six months to live? And why did it come true? That. Was this person aware of Michael's fake death plan? When this claim was brought up, Jackson's spokesperson denied that the star was ill, saying, Mr. Jackson is in fine health and is in negotiations for a concert tour and TV project. It was June 25 when we received the news of Michael's death. We were all sad, but there were some who weren't. Why was Michael's spokesperson, Brian Oxman, trying not to laugh when announcing Michael's death on June 25. Hello, Harry, how are you? It is a very sad day for me here. I am heartbroken. What was it like to be in a rock? I never saw this clip. I never saw this clip. I know I don't remember seeing this on TV. You feel me? When he passed. But now that I'm seeing this clip right here, now nah, this is suspicious. This is suspicious. He definitely, it's like, it's like he said he's trying not to like, like laugh or smile. Like he knows something that we don't know. No, he definitely knows something that we don't know. He definitely knows something that, like you can see it all in his face. This guy right here, this guy, he knows something that we don't know. And we couldn't even talk. We just hugged, we stood there, we cried, and I am heartbroken. I have warned that one day Michael Jackson would wake up dead and that I would not be silent. He knows something we don't know for sure. He's not a good liar. He's not a good liar. Why don't we kill him? The Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, investigating Michael Jackson's death was desperately searching for lost surveillance footage from the King of Pops Hollywood home. The LAPD is frantically looking. That attorney was all I needed to see, though. That attorney definitely knows something that we don't know. With that being said, he knows something that we don't know. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude that Michael Jackson didn't die exactly on that day. He could be dead now, but he didn't die on that day. Oh, no, he didn't die on that day. I don't think so. Looking for the that. missing CCTV footage that could solve the mystery surrounding the final moments of Michael's life. MJ's mansion, a rented house where he spent the last few months of his life, had an elaborate, high-tech security system in place with secret cameras fitted in every hall and corridor. Logically, Jackson's final moments should have been recorded on one of the cameras. Right. But dozens of CCTV tapes from his L.A. mansion have mysteriously gone missing. Insiders close to the investigation say Jackson's death, possibly his murder, was captured on camera, but the video has not been recovered. There are also gaps in some security camera footage stored on computer hard drives. Police were combing through personal computers recovered from the house. For the moment, it seems the truth is hidden in the rolls of a tape and that is the missing link that could possibly unravel the mystery of MJ's death. 
So why did someone destroy every security camera footage? Why did people try to hide the truth? June 25, 2009, when Michael passed away someone recorded this video. Ben Evenstad, Michael's private paparazzi, was out from Michael's house with a journalist team for many days. His purpose was trying to record Michael's life and to document his days during this as at rehearsals. On that tragic day, when the ambulance got out of the mansion, Evenstad tried to record inside the ambulance. You will be shocked when you'll notice this shadow, Michael Jackson standing inside the ambulance. Wasn't he in cardiac arrest? Why was Michael healthy in Ben Evenstad's footage on June 25? That's what I'm saying. Know. See, if he was, come on now, he was standing or sitting up like, that's what I'm saying. I don't believe, after seeing what the uh, attorney said, it's 2024, so Michael could really be dead now. But he didn't die on that day. He definitely did not die on that day. You can't convince me that Michael Jackson died on that day after seeing that attorney face. That attorney didn't even know how to, he didn't even know how to keep a straight face. He, like, he was a bad liar. He was a bad liar talking about it's a tragic loss. Like, he, he was a bad actor, bro, a bad liar. Better understand why the records from June 25 were destroyed. Jackson was healthy on June 25 and left the house in good health. Michael's private paparazzo, Ben Evanstad, recorded Michael sitting upright when he was supposed to be lying down in the ambulance. See? On that same day, Michael's body was transported from the ambulance to a helicopter to get faster to the hospital. But something will hit your eyes. During the body transport, something strange happens into the helicopter. Look at the white sheet covering Michael's body. It's moving. This is absolutely proof that Michael Jackson wasn't dead. Why was there a masked man in Randy Jackson's car two days after Michael was gone? outside Michael's house, and why was Randy happy? Let me see, I need to see the footage. I just need to see the footage. Two days after Michael's death, on June 27, 2009, in front of Michael Jackson's last house, Marlon and Randy Jackson arrive in a car. All the paparazzi and fans were outside to greet and see Michael Jackson's brothers, but the climate didn't seem so sad. In fact, we can see the brothers laughing and smiling with a calm and relaxed mood. Soon after, we can see Marlon Jackson. Because they had, yeah, he a lot. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Now I know the truth. Now I know the truth. Moving his head. It seems he was trying to say something to someone behind him in the back seats. But that's not all. Look now. Look at the car going away. Ah, uh, yeah. Haven't you noticed anything? I'll let you see it once again. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. There's somebody in the back seat. Yeah, that's Marlon. That's Marlon and Randy. You see there's somebody else in the back seat, bro. You can literally see it right there. They Who was FaceTime. that figure in the back seat? Exactly. Who is that figure in the back seat? This is crazy. When Dr. Murray was found guilty, people tried to attack him. So why were Jackson's bodyguards trying to protect him? Why were there toy rabbits in the courtroom during Murray's trial? Wow. Was Michael Jackson trying to send us a message that he was alive through the symbol of the rabbit, which signifies believe? Why is there a toy rabbit? That's crazy. I was fast. That became scary. That was all his 
different costumes on the movie. Each other's right, each other's down. Did Conrad Murray, the doctor held responsible for Michael Jackson's death, confess that someone else died in Michael's place? Murray spoke about the day of Michael's death on the Dr. Oz show. He mentioned leaving the room for about 25 minutes, and upon returning, he found a different person in the bed. Murray stated, he was dead, but it was not the same person I saw thus implying that the deceased was not Michael Jackson. Say, you step out of the room for an hour? Uh, I left, the, I left his bedside at only 11.25. And his position on the bed? Well, normally when I left him, his, he was on the pillow. Um, and when I came back, um, he was in a different position. He was, he was no longer on the pillow, he had moved down lower on the bed and closer to the edge, but he was there, but it wasn't the same person I saw. It wasn't the same person I saw. It wasn't the same person I saw. So he slumped over, is he breathing? No, I, I did the normal thing. As a cardiologist, I resuscitated patients. Following this statement, Michael's fans considered it as evidence supporting the theory that Michael did not die. According to the story, yeah, a lookalike stunt double named Dimitri. He didn't die that day. He definitely didn't die that day, bro. This, I'm telling y'all, this is what it is. He didn't die that day. You can't convince me that he died that day. It's a, it's a chance he could have died probably years later, like 2016 or 2020 that we don't know about. But he didn't die that day. Or he could still possibly be alive to, to this day, to 2024 was buried in Michael's place. Dimitri, who was already near death, allegedly helped Michael with his fake death plan and was buried in his stead. Why are there conflicting stories about finding Michael Jackson collapsed breathing? Joe Jackson said something about him going to bed the night of the 24th and not waking up. Other reports state that he got up on the 25th of June, walked across to Doc Murray's room from his room saying he wasn't feeling well and collapsed, and somewhere else states that he was already in the doctor's room. LaToya later says that Michael was found in Murray's room, not in his own room. We have also heard reports that Michael Jackson's son, Prince, was in the room and thought Daddy was joking while he was convulsing on the floor, because he could be quite the prankster. Prank the world. That's what happened. I and look, he could be quite the prankster. He pranked the world. As you know, most of the photos at Michael Jackson's memorial and funeral were from the Liberian Girl video. In the Liberian Girl video, Michael was recording everyone from behind the camera and smiling. I won't go into detail about this because I've already discussed it in previous videos. No, we need you to. Catherine Jackson, Michael's mother, was seen shopping at Target for camping gear the day after her son died. She also went to get her nails done on the day of his memorial. Joe Jackson and Jesse Jackson were seen laughing outside the family home less than two days after Michael died, while Joe gave a thumbs up to the media. But wait, I won't talk about why the family was happy and laughing at the memorial, because I've already covered that enough in my previous video. What I want to discuss is why the funeral was held in a studio setting with fake scenery. This might explain why there were photos from the Liberian Girl video at the memorial and funeral. Maybe Michael Jackson, who dreamed of being a director, wanted to create the greatest movie in the world. After the ridiculous attitude of the family at the memorial service, the eyes were on the funeral. The ceremony was officially held in a mock studio setting. In this event, which added the chain of evidence, it continued to prove that Michael was alive. You can clearly see what was in that place, you can see a studio light in the fixed background. Michael Jackson got us, bro! He tricked us! He tricked us! They always say he loved to, he loved to do pranks, he loved to, you know, do jokes, something like, he tricked us, bro! This is what he do. He tricked us. 
He didn't die that day. He did not die that day. Why did Michael write a book called Faded with Gotham Chopra? This book is about a pop star who everyone thinks is dead, but is actually alive. Additionally, why did Gotham tweet this 15 days after Michael's death? Had the most fascinating dinner last night with that guy that runs the world from behind the curtain. This is clearly... Oh, what the... What that guy that runs the world from behind the curtains? That's Michael Jackson! He said he had dinner with Michael Jackson. They... Oh my goodness, bro. This is... Com Come on now. This is common sense a reference to Michael Jackson's Liberian Girl video, where he orchestrates everything from behind the scenes. In other words, Gotham Chopra was implying that he had dinner with Michael last night. Exactly. Michael's memorial, filled with images from the Liberian Girl video, was held on July 7th. Gotham's tweet posted two days later this is why implied he that he had This is why Michael is the GOAT, bro. ...at dinner with Michael. This is why. <laughs> I feel Kenny Ortega, the director of the This Is It film, was Michael Jackson's close friend for 20 years. He also spoke about Michael at the memorial. However, he made a significant slip up. Ortega said, we were here, we were right here a little less than a week ago, and Michael was with us. We were here, we were right here a little less than a week ago, and Michael was with us. The date he said this was July 7th, but Michael passed away on June 25th. There are 12 days in between. Despite nearly two weeks having passed, Kenny's saying that they were here with Michael less than a week ago suggests that he was preparing for the memorial with Michael. Do you think this is a small slip-up or a big one? If you think it's a small one, let me show you a bigger slip-up. Michael was very, very healthy. He had passed the physicals for the show and they keep on saying that he was very very healthy and i believe them on that because the man was literally singing and dancing for a living you know he danced they say he could dance all day he danced all day like he was in great shape you know heart condition perfect you feel me with that being said now he dies in his sleep come on man he ain't die that day. He did not die. He, that day. His heart was in. They had said he suffered a heart attack and all, all this kind of stuff. He was very, very healthy. But Michael was not with us way before he arrived to the airport. What do you mean uh, by I mean, that? You had not uh, seen I mean, way before he arrived to the hospital. Right. Okay. So you. What a mess, Jermaine. Isn't it? All these interviews, declarations, questions. They make your brain mess up. But as we can hear, you're not telling lies. Jermaine Jackson, during an Australian radio channel in 2010, was talking about Michael's death and about his situation before he died. Michael during his speech, he says, Michael was not with us way before he arrived to the airport. The woman who interviews Jermaine gives him a strange look, and Jermaine quickly says he meant the hospital. Well, it sounds strange because on June 25th the LA airport was closed following Michael's death and only a plane was there. It was about a mysterious private jet which departed from the airport during that time. The staff at the airport had been told to ignore the plane. This is interesting since Jermaine Jackson made this little slip up with the radio program. Jermaine. There's a big Why difference between the words out. EY Airport and hospital. Yes, we've come to the end of our video, but oh, there is more the evidence available. We have pre he put that off, prepared bro. a longer documentary for that, which you can also watch. Don't forget to like and share. Bro, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. I think he didn't die that day. I know. No, no, correction. I know for a fact Michael Jackson did not die that day. He didn't die. He did not die June 25th, 2009. He didn't die that day. I thought, especially after watching this, I always felt like it. But now definitely after watching this right here and all the evidence, bro, and if you know the type of person Michael Jackson was, this is what he did. Like he, what? He, what? 
This is his show. He, he doing all the controlling from behind the curtains. Like, man, I, I feel like I feel like he, I know. Well, not feel like I know. I know he didn't die that day. He could still be alive, or he could actually be dead now. You never know. You know, it's 2024. You know, this was years on top of years ago. You know, this is a whole new, you know, decade. You know, we in 2024. Um, me personally, though, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't think he died that day. That's just... My personal, you know, beliefs and opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all believe. If y'all think he really did or he, not he, if he really did, but comment down below. Let me know if you think he really died that day. I want to hear your opinion. Let me know if you really think Michael Jackson died in 2009. I don't think Michael Jackson died in 2009. That's my final thought, my final, you know, word. That's my final belief. <laughs> Let me hear what you think, though, down in the comments below. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new, if you want more videos like this, hit the like button so I know. And I'll see y'all next video.